Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years. Hi, I'm Cherry Johnson with Watauga County Arts Council, and today we're surrounded by Kelsey's. <laughs> today we have Kelsey Sanders and we have Kelsey Gowdy, both from Appalachian State University's School of Dance. All uh, right, and surrounded the, by the Kelseys is Keith. So we have Keith Martin. Uh, I believe you've met Keith before. Keith is, um, what is your official title I'm again? the John Blackburn Distinguished Professor of Theater in the Department of Theater and Dance at and Appalachian he's, State. It's kind of the energy and the glue that keeps these folks coming toward me for interviews and that kind of thing. And opportunities Shamelessly to, promoting our work. That's right. <laughs> and opportunities to share cool things with you all the time. And we're so pleased to be able to share the work of these young ladies and other people like them. Uh, I think it's kind of interesting that every year as we pass through the fall colors and all the excitement of the, of the fall, then we move to fade, but there's nothing fading about fade. <laughs> fade is the Fall Appalachian Dance Ensemble. Correct. And it is an annual event. It's only in its third year. It's an offshoot of the Spring Appalachian Dance Ensemble, which was so successful in selling out that about two or three years ago, we added an event in the fall. Mm -hmm. So it's only the third year, I think, we decided that it's been done as the Fall Appalachian Dance Ensemble. But this year's work will have seven never, be seen, never before seen works, all created specifically for this performance. So this is sort of an end of the semester, almost the end of the semester, a uh, culmination of work that has been, uh, you know, studied and, and choreographed and um, fine-tuned for a couple of months now. Well, some of the pieces started as soon as this summer, at least right. in concept and working, but mm -hmm. they come to fruition tonight. And we run through the Saturday night performance. That's November 14th through the 17th. Right. Now, Kelsey, this Kelsey, uh, you <laughs> told me that you had begun a piece last summer, uh, yes. begun working on it. I, I, when did the idea first hit? Oh, well, I, that's interesting. <laughs> um, the idea, definitely came just like a lot of things were happening in my life like things were changing plans mm -hmm. were changing like major plans um just things that couldn't be prevented and so i was like i should create a dance about this <laughs> and, and he created um life and natural disasters the name of the piece mm -hmm. and so so why, how are you interpreting this um i mean the dance kind of goes through a develop like it develops with like it starts with like the girls just um, like going through life and everything's great like mm -hmm. it lo looks like they're having the time of their life because they are and then like the disaster hits and this can be like an actual natural disaster mm -hmm. like something that can't be prevented or like I mean even like a death or something right. that just is part of life but you can't stop it and so then um, the dance progresses into like the coping with that and like uh, like through the movement and like the partnering I do, I try to like show this like reliance on others to help you like get through. Okay. Now is this a teaching you perform alone? Oh no, it's I. I don't. You don't I don't perform. perform it. You just okay. yeah. I have six dancers. You do. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is going to be fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And you're about to graduate. So yes. So this is an experience <laughs> that you're getting really polished at now. Right? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what are your future goals? Oh, future goals are to definitely, um, I want to, well, this is apart from dance, <laughs> I want to work um, with conservation okay. out west, mm -hmm. but then I always foresee me doing some something with dance, like a dance company, probably back in North Carolina, because I love North Carolina, <laughs> and cool. I love, like, all the dancing experiences I've had here, so <laughs> keep That's it up. <laughs> now, are you, what is your major? Is I'm an anthropology, anthropology major, anthropology. and dance minor. Okay, that makes a whole mm -hmm. lot more sense now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's a little different. <laughs> All right, now Kelsey Sanders, you also choreographed a piece. Yes, I and did. And let's hear about yours. Um, it's called Amelia, and it's basically, I don't know about the life of Amelia Earhart, but I have a character in it that kind of portrays her at a younger age, mm -hmm. um, and she kind of has a dream that kind of foreshadows her life in a way. Um, mm. And I have six dancers, and... Um, there's a dancer with a red scarf, and she kind of symbolizes when Amelia was younger. Um, she never really wanted to fly, but there's a quote that um, when she got a little bit older, she saw a red plane go by. It swooped down close to her, and that's what inspired her to fly. And so the dancer with the red scarf is kind of that um, in the dance. And then she wakes up at the end, and it's a dream, but it's also just kind of foreshadowing what's about to happen wow. in her life. So. 
Very good. Now, what I'm, I'm curious about how you how you conceive mm. this kind of a, a I mean, it's a it's a storyline. It's a plot. You know, how how do you do this? Um, I mean, I've always kind of been interested in Amelia Earhart, and I was thinking of ideas of what to do my piece about, and I thought just thought it would be neat to try and incorporate something about her. And I really love biographies too. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it to be strictly a biography, but I wanted it to be somewhat biographical, so um, that's kind of how I came up with it. I think that uh, some folks in the community may not be aware that dance many times is a storytelling process, mm -hmm. that it's not just a pretty movements, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. but there's there's something else going on and how to interpret that and how to understand that. Will the uh, audience have something to t help explain this story to them? Um, I don't know that the program has. The paper has the title of the work and it has, of course, the choreographer and the company members, but the work stands on its own. Oh. And these are two of but five student-developed mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. There's also a piece by Laurie Atkins, who's an assistant professor right. of dance studies an original piece by Paul Eby, who was your right. guest last week, your viewers might remember when he was on the program, mm -hmm. that he is setting on our students in the uh, Buto Japanese dance tradition. Right. So it's a very eclectic program of five, uh, seven completely different works. The music mm -hmm. runs the entire gamut. And in one evening's performance, you'll see extraordinary number of types of dance as we celebrate uh -huh. the art form. All right, now the evening begins at what time? 7.30 curtain. Mm -hmm. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, and of course it opens tonight, Wednesday night, 7.30 in the Valborg Theater. Mm -hmm. State of the art, perfect space for a dance on the campus oh, of App it State. It absolutely is. Really is great. Mm -hmm. The and depth, the lighting angles, the, the stage service is just perfect for dancers and it's, uh, I just love seeing dance in the Valborg Theater. Now, when you put on a dance performance like this with all these different eclectic styles of dance and so forth, uh, lighting, set, that kind of thing. How does this change between pieces? Uh, it, between the pieces, it is a flurry of activity backstage <laughs> as they change <laughs> gel color. And you know, the, last week I thought, I'm so glad because the EB piece, there was so much cleaning up to do mm -hmm. from the hundreds of pounds of rice that were on stage being yes, used in I the piece. That story. <laughs> All of those, then we have to get there. But this one is a little different because it's the lights, the mood, the atmosphere, mm -hmm. as well as the music and then the style of dance that changes. There's really only one intermission. Uh, the rest of them are what we call intervals, just a short break so we can reset between one dance piece to right. prepare for the but next. it's not going to look like the same thing over and over with oh, different no. dances being performed, but it's going to be a different it's experience each time. Each choreographer has worked with the lighting designer and the mm -hmm. costume designer, as well as having chosen the music, so you've got that oral part of it as well. Mm -hmm. It's um, quite complete in its own realization. People think these are student pieces. That doesn't mean they're going to be any less professionally produced than any other work you see on stage at Appalachia. State University. Well, and your professional level, I mean, they are they are so close. They're right there. You know what I mean? So it's not like that you're talking about, you know, six-year-old ballerinas. You know, you're talking about people who are next to professional. And they've studied dance. They've mm -hmm. had a chance to work with these student choreographers and the faculty and guest artists. They really are at the top of their game. I think you'll be quite impressed. That's great. Now, Kelsey, you're not quite to the senior level yet, right? No, I'm going to be graduating next December, December okay. 2013. And do you have goals that you've set yet? Um, I am going to be doing a Pilates um, program mm -hmm. this summer. Um, so I'd like to teach Pilates after I do that, um, after I graduate next December. And I would love to teach dance and I mean possibly even get my graduate's degree in something with art therapy. I'm not really sure yet. But and when you say teaching dance to whom? Um, a lot of different populations. I'd be interested okay. in younger children but I'd also be interested in doing classes for adults, um, ballet classes. and. Now are you in education? Uh, as in, will you be a public school teacher? No, I okay. would probably want to do it in studio. Studio dance. Yeah. Your major is what? Um, dance. Yeah. yeah. And my minor is <laughs> nutrition. So. A minor in nutrition. Yeah. Very I important. noticed that. I have someone I work with that is in, uh, has a major in nutrition, and uh, I, I'm okay. just going to ask you if you know them. Now, <laughs> you are saying yay because there's a background for you. It is. I started dancing at the age of eight years. Uh, followed my sister to ballet class and just never left. And my twin brother danced professionally throughout his career, but mm -hmm. dance was my first love. 
And that's the wonderful thing about being an Appalachian state because we have a department of theater and dance. Right. And there really is an extraordinary amount of crossover. Mm -hmm. I was so proud of the Freshman Showcase because it was a true integration of theater and dance into a single performance. So that like happens a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just <laughs> there are so many theater majors who are dance minors or double majors or dance majors who have a theater minor. I mean, it's very rare that we've got the people outside the university, but it's not unheard of. Right. I mean, the, the department celebrates all <laughs> artistic expression. And we're so thrilled that we have an opportunity for students to minor who have another field of study. Right, right. And a chance to showcase them really in a community that, that I think truly does appreciate the, the arts and, and the way that they are celebrated through our student population, as well as the other things that the university brings to us. We're very fortunate to live in a community like this. That's the entire community. Just a shout out to the Watauga High School Pioneer Playmakers. Yes, This absolutely. weekend they're going to Greensboro mm -hmm. for the state finals of the North Carolina Theater Conference Play mm -hmm. Festival. So there's something about the high country, maybe mm -hmm. something in the water, that has excellence on every level of artistry, whether it's Watauga High true. School or Appalachian State University or the professional companies that are, are located in the high country region. And you know as well as I do that when you go outside of the high country, people know about this place. Oh, they do. I mean, it's like coming up the mountain. You just see it all. Mm -hmm. And it's the year-round activity as well. There's no off-season for the arts in the high country. You're That's absolutely I mean. right. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. So uh, even in bad weather, we're still functioning and, and oh, rolling hard. Nothing stops. That's exactly right. Now, let's recap again. People can Absolutely. get tickets and how and where. It's the Fall Appalachian Dance Ensemble, presented by the Department of Theater and Dance at Appalachian State University. The performances begin tonight, November 14th, and go through this Saturday night, November 17th. All four performances are at 7.30 p.m. in the Valborg Theater on the campus at Appalachian State University. It's right behind the Turchin Center, connected to Chapel Wilson Hall. For tickets, you can call the box office at 828-262-3063, or you can go online to dance.appstate.edu and have a complete program for this weekend's activities and also the other things that are coming up this semester and again in the spring. That's great. That's great. I thank you so much, Keith. You are really a driving force in the arts community. I have to tell you, when you work with talent like this, I'm seeing the next generation of arts leaders right in front of my face. It's just so exciting. It is. And these ladies are, are really good examples. They really are. Uh -huh. Can't wait. Break a leg tonight, or is it saying the dance world married? <laughs> successful, <laughs> successful opening night. We don't want any broken legs. Oh, no. <laughs> I want you to come and be a part of this. I really think you're going to be delighted that you have done that, and I encourage you to check the website. Correct. Uh, and then also check the Arts Council's website, Watauga-Arts.org, for information about this and so much more. Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years.